we all fall into this trap of a certain mindset that I just made. Okay? It's either this or it's this. Okay? So what you just gave me was I'm either uh, I've either got my own law firm and I'm working and I'm working hard uh, or I have my family because the two can't work together. But whether you're just talking about your law firm or just your family, there are going to be lots of difficulties anyway because that's life. Okay? So my advice to you is figure out how do I reframe that mindset because it's not all or nothing. It's not have, you know, work hard and have a successful firm or have a family. Okay, the reality is you can have both. You have to find that balance. And you're, it's a constant struggle because it's constantly tugging out of balance. That is always happening every single day. But you have to find a way. Because uh, you're right, you shouldn't give up your family for your law practice. Okay? And quite frankly, you shouldn't have to give up your law practice for your family. Okay, you can do both, but everybody's got to figure out how do I make this work uh, for me? And where do you want to go with it? Because especially in the trust and estate field, I see a vast spectrum of practices. You know, there are solos that just enjoy being solos. They answer their own phones. They work three days a week, and that works for them. And they make it, you know, and they support, and maybe their wives stay at home and take care of the kids, and somehow, I don't know how, but they make that work. Um, there are others that are completely sold out, kind of on the other end of that spectrum, where they do work crazy hours and they lose their families. And so, you know, as you know, he was saying, there's a lot of ground in between. So I think you need to figure out what's your tra trajectory. You know, what do you want that practice to look like? And one of the great things about having your own firm is you kind of get to decide, you know, how much energy you want to put into it. So if you want to work 40 hours a week, maybe you can do that, but there's going to be a trade-off. One of the big concepts you got to recognize is that the enemy is not time. The enemy is energy. You don't run out of time. You run out of energy. And so when you run out of energy, you start getting sloppy. You start doing poor work. Working at 3 o'clock in the morning is not good use of your time, right? You can do it, but you won't last very long. So figuring out where your energy works and so certain changing that energy to have other people work for you so that you spend your energy doing profitable things, building, working cases that bring in money, doing that stuff, um, is how you convert that. To them. So there's some things that make money, and there's some things that allow you to make money, like answering the phones. And the same thing applies though to cases or matters that you're representing uh, people on. Okay. Are you taking on too many? Are you taking on too much? Are you taking on uh, projects and areas that you are really what you do, what you want to do? And so then are you stripping away your time and energy that you could otherwise devote to really focusing on the things you want to do and the way that you want to do them?